Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages come through. Wow, this, uh, in this reading, I see Divine Masculine feeling very eager to reach out to Divine Feminine to express their love, their feelings. They know that they have treated Divine Feminine um, very unfairly. There's a lot of things that this Divine Masculine was going through they want to share with Divine Feminine. I see here that they want to restore balance, um, restore the connection itself. Um, there's also something about this divine masculine was kind of like this is a masculine who went for material gain uh, they were somebody who was attracted by i feel like um sparkly things uh glittery things they were attracted by uh, luxury that's what i feel like luxury um living a very expensive uh life um this divine masculine could be somebody who loves like um Fancy things like um, cars, um, jewelry, uh, their lifestyle. I feel like um, the place that they live, their house. Uh, this is somebody who I feel they wanted to appear as somebody who was very successful. But this is somebody who feel like they were trying to live up to a certain kind of image but they were not um like for example if this divine masculine was somebody who needed to take a flight from one place to another like a you know bought a plane ticket they can afford the economy but this was somebody who wanted to be in the business or in the first class seat um, they try to, I'm giving it as an example, they try to take on the image that they were already there, but they lived, they didn't live within their budget. They, they did a lot more. This is somebody who was too much, who feels like too much into, um, the, the illusion. It was the illusion that they have created for themselves. They ran after something that, that, that they thought was success. They, they ran after something that they thought was the ultimate dream. Like, this is, this is what is meant for me. I mean, it's okay to have goals in life. It's okay to, you know, challenge yourself and things like that. But I feel like this Divine Masculine was not being realistic. Like, they were living a life which they they weren't there yet they were living a life which was an illusion because they wanted that lifestyle so much without doing the work i feel like they didn't do the work to get there it's like let me just take the quick way or the shortcut and um give this illusion that i've already made it but they have not this is somebody who who chose to um Uh, what I'm getting, what I'm visualizing is a, a divine masculine who loves shoes. Uh, they may have loved like wearing shoes, some sort of name brand shoes, sneakers, something like that. Um, big time, like they really love their sneakers. So not just one pair. They may have had a lot of pairs of sneakers to give off that image that they've made it. Um, thinking that by having these um, certain things would make them look like they were success. Um, but this masculine, I feel like they they were very tight on their on their finances. This is somebody who doesn't really know how to budget. They don't know how to save. They don't know how to earn. Um, 
the work that is required to earn a living. This is a divine masculine who I feel like they wanted the shortcut to get. This is somebody who may have even borrowed money. Borrowed money from parents, uh, siblings. Um, just help me for now and I'll, I'll pay you back later kind of thing. Shows here that they want to reach out to Divine Feminine. F trying to figure out how to restore the connection. They recognize that their mindset, their mindset was, was on, it's like their path was completely different from Divine Feminine. Your, what you wanted was different from what Divine Masculine wanted at the time. It took this uh, clearing out, this realization for Divine Masculine to see uh, what they were missing in their life. They thought that certain things would bring them joy, that they would be um, feel satisfied in some sort of way, happy. Um, but then they realized that there was something that that they had failed to see because they were so focused on the glitter. It shows here that what they have created for themselves became a burden. The lifestyle that they created for themselves became a burden. They were guided by the divine to see further because divine masculine felt very lost and confused. Here I see divine masculine feeling very lost and confused. It took a breakdown, meaning that they had to shed a lot of tears. This is somebody who may have went down on their knees and prayed for some sort of guidance that this, if this is life, I don't know, I don't know what else is there for me because I feel this to my masculine it's like I worked I worked up to this point to get to this this phase and there should be more than this like I feel like this divine masculine didn't feel satisfied they thought they thought it's like oh if I finally get this I will be satisfied if I finally achieve this or gain this I will be happy but it shows here that the more that they the more that they consume themselves in those things, in the end, they just remain things. They didn't really bring this divine masculine, the happiness, the peace, the satisfaction that this divine masculine desired. And this divine masculine went into issues here, being guided by the divine because they felt very lost. They may have gone into prayer, seeked for answers because this divine masculine was very confused about what, what am I meant to do? What am I here for? What is my purpose? There were some uh, times where Divine Masculine um, did small, I feel like small things to earn money. Um, it's like, say if there was like, um, somebody needed help with something like, some kind of project is like, oh, masculine, do you want to help me out over the weekend? You know, help me move um, some of my things. I'll pay you, you know, like something like that. So it's like small tasks thinking that he will gain um, without putting much work or effort into things. I feel like this masculine was just looking for quick ways to get his life going. But shows here that it was not fulfilling. It's like things that didn't challenge this masculine to to show their skills or challenge them to feel like I've you know I've really earned this this money it's like sometimes it may have felt like like say if somebody needed their car washed and divine masculine got paid a hundred bucks or something like that and this masculine didn't feel fulfilled from that so it took time for divine masculine to realize that it's not about the material it's about more about what this divine masculine is giving and how he is receiving right so that fulfillment he's not feeling that fulfillment which he he needs to feel when giving it's more like he's giving out of like just to receive for his own gain but not giving to in a way that it's like f being being given in return like fulfillment you know what i mean so this masculine gave with the intention of receiving material gain, um, not realizing that giving would, would be important if he gave and received 
with fulfillment. So this is something that this masculine had to learn. Moving, moving ahead in this reading, I see a transformation here for this masculine. He may be like undecided about how to reach out to you, how to talk to you because of all these things that are happening. But it shows here up ahead, this masculine is going to be transformed to become stronger, to know their ability, to know what what value they have, what their strengths are, what knowledge they hold. This is somebody who's very smart. I feel like they made themselves like, feels like they, they purposely downplayed their knowledge just so that they didn't have to do the work. This is somebody who's very smart, but it's like around others, they, it's like, I'm just going to just do enough to get me a certain thing. I'm not going to do extra. But this masculine, if he gave his fullest to something, I feel like he will gain more. He will achieve more. He will grow more. He will succeed. He will grow. He didn't give himself a chance. This is a masculine who didn't give themselves a chance to grow. It could be the fear of not, um, I feel like he may have thought that maybe I won't be able to make it or I won't be able to, to do it like others do. Could be some sort of comparison. They didn't feel they had the strength within them, but I see here the transformation, transforming them into someone who is quite strong. Somebody who's strong, strong, very strong, knowledgeable, happy. So happiness does come in here for this masculine. Transforming their life so that they can focus not only themselves, but there's love for family here. Emotional connection to family, emotional connection, loving self, oneness, clarity, a new beginning, wisdom, beautiful. There's wisdom here, happiness, fulfillment. Um, self-love, transformation, a brand new beginning. This masculine is going to transform his weakness into strengths. Shows here a weakness transforming into strengths, a weakness that was created. Shows here created by somebody who had distracted divine masculine from their path. This is a, this is a karmic person here in this reading. It shows here the karmic person, they... It's like, how can I take this to my masculine off course? Like, take them, um, distract them, divert their attention so they do not fulfill their destiny. How do I do that? This, this karmic person was somebody who created a separation between them, but had made sure that this divine masculine would walk away feeling less than. They tried to bring the worst out of this masculine. They tried to make this divine masculine feel weak, not capable of, not worthy. I see here that they made divine masculine feel like life is always going to be like this. It's always going to suck. <laughs> that's sorry. That's what I'm getting. That's the word that I got in my mind. Life is going to always be like this. I see here it's going to be sour, bitter, it's going to be harsh. This person, this karmic individual, planted the seed in divine masculine to make them believe that they were not worthy, that they were not worthy of, that they would not be capable of. Try to dim this masculine's light. Shows here trying to keep divine masculine in the darkness so they do not see their light. They did not want Divine Masculine to radiate because they did not want Masculine to radiate because, because one, they knew that Divine Masculine had strengths. Divine Masculine is very beautiful here, very strong. I see here the transformation will make Divine Masculine very strong. So one of the reasons, oh, there's a siren going. Okay. 
So one of the reasons I see here, they knew that Divine Masculine would come into their strength. They wanted to dim this Divine Masculine's light down. Another reason is because they had a fear that Divine Feminine would see the transformation within Divine Masculine, that this Masculine is ready for union, that this Masculine is the Divine counterpart. They didn't want Divine Masculine to recognize themselves. They didn't want Re Divine Masculine to be reconnected with their counterpart. So there's two main reasons here. So what did they do? They made Divine Masculine feel as if they were not worthy. If Divine Masculine feels that they are not worthy, then how can they even imagine reconnecting with their counterpart, Divine Feminine? So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.